Good morning, guys. I know you can't see me, but I know you can hear my alarm clock outside. Um, once it gets daylight, I'll come back on here and uh, after the intro and talk to you guys about how the night went. Go post app recording. getting gas and uh, I'm gonna run in and grab some uh, some stuff and I'll get back with you but I'm in Louisville Mississippi I thought it was just Louisville Kentucky um, but no Louisville Mississippi and I'm saying Louisville like that because some people's like they always have to say Louisville it's Louisville like it has some s's in it that's what they say in the wagyu it's wagyu 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 it has a w in it wagyu like, if I gotta say it like that, I'm gonna say it just like that. Say it's stupid. Because it has a Wagyu. It has a U in it. Wagyu. See, it sounds really stupid when you say that, don't it? But uh, Louisville has an S in it. So for the people that have to say Wagyu. Okay. Too early for this. Be back. Go to post-op recording. Good morning. I'm feeling a lot better from when I just woke up, but that's not saying much. Um, as you heard the alarm alarm system, that bird woke me up at like five o'clock. Um, I was gonna sleep into six or seven. Um, I kept waking up every 10 or 20 minutes last night, um, just aching, um, but I'm feeling okay. I'm not feeling good enough to hike. Today it might not even be hiking at all, just surviving. Uh, my bunions hurt, uh, they're tender. Um, I don't think they're raw. Uh, I walked on my, my hills the last two miles up a hill. 90% uh, of that was up a hill, or 95, because it was two miles. I just, on my odometer in my car, I just uh, actually uh, made sure how much it was before I lied to you guys. But I had to go into town. Sound country, don't I? I had to go into town six and a half miles to get gas. While I was here, I got coffee and some food. What we got here is sausage, gravy, and biscuits. Um, we got some eggs, a sausage patty, and some grits. Um, I think it was like $1.59 for one sausage. And the sausages and gravy, but I told them I want two sausages um, and gravy. Um, and the plate was like five something, five fifty nine, but then six seven, about eight something. But it was, I think we taxed about eight something. But uh, I wasn't worried about the price right now. Um, just the convenience part of it, and me not having to get all the cooking stuff out and do everything. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna say, hey, I ate breakfast today boil me some coffee and, and then go live um i'm uh i'm i'm not feeling up to par today um what i'm going what, what i have planned for today is to to pay the five dollars go uh camp by the lake um chill out today um i'm not even sure if i'm going fishing but maybe tomorrow I'll go fishing um and do the I got 1.85 miles to go to meet my 30 mile quota. Or I can do 3.85 miles to meet, go to the 32, because I did say 30 to 32 miles, because I really didn't know. 
um, what the whole trailing system was, and I, I really, I really didn't get to to do, but half the half, well, a little over half the trailing system on the bottom. Um, I just did one trail five times. <laughs> oh, it sucked. I will never forget that. Um, but uh, that's the plan. Is go camp. I'm going to put my tent up uh, and uh, the hammock, if I can find a hammock spot. Uh, and then I'll get back to you on here. But I'm going to eat this food here in a second. I'm going to tell you how some of this stuff is. There's some country cooking, too. I got a stove. That's good. The grits are good. Usually I don't like grits. It's, it's buttery. It's not sugar grits. It's uh, I'm not a fan of doing the sugar and the rice and spaghetti and grits. But, uh, yeah, this is butter grits and it's cooked really good. They had a stove right there. Um, it's a gas station. And they have the hot case there. But right behind that on the wall, they have the stove. And she's cooking the eggs. And you can see them um, cooking and everything. Oh, it's good. The eggs aren't, aren't special. They're eggs. They cook good. Sausage gravy. I'm really picky about sausages and gravy because I cook my own sausage gravy and biscuits. And I'm biased, but it's freaking delicious. I mean, who wouldn't be biased with my sausage gravy and biscuits? Okay. The biscuits are great. The biscuits are great. I'm going to tell you that now. They beat me on biscuits. They definitely did not beat me on the sausage and gravy. It's okay. It's okay. But uh, the biscuits make up for it. And uh, I really am going to enjoy the rest of this. But I will, uh, when I get back and find a spot, I will uh, let you guys know what's going on. I'll first stop recording. Okay, I think it's five dollars a day. Five dollars a day here, so I'm gonna uh, golden age access two dollars and fifty cents. Am I golden age? I feel like I'm golden age, uh, but I'm not. Cars and trucks, five dollars a vehicle. So I guess I'll have to find my site and then um, pay the ten dollars. I'll be here for two nights. Um, or just put my license plate number down, they can find me. All right, well, I will see you at the campsite after I do this and talk to you guys in a little bit. Go post stop recording.
Okay, I had to check out what site I wanted before I paid him my money, but site 21 looks good to me. Uh, it's reserved, but it's uh, 26th, so I'll be out of here by the 24th. Um, I picked this site because it's close to the bathroom. Bathroom, the crapper's right there, so I am good to go. We got water over here, we got the electric, um, picnic table, I can cook right here. Um, I'm still going to probably try to use that grill just to see how that grill worked out that I got uh, from you guys. Um, but I got two little uh, clean grills. I got them really clean. Um, usually when you go places, they're freaking packed with stuff, but they actually clean them out. So I'll probably gather some wood for later just to have some smoke going for the um, bugs. Um, it's going to be 99 today. So let me um, drop some items off here so people know that I am going to be going to be uh, camping here. So when I leave to pay this, nobody comes and tries to get this spot too. So let me do that, and um, I'll talk to you a little bit more after I set up. I'm glad I brought my gun. There are bobcats out here. I just saw one. There it is, bobcat. I'm not sure if this cat's named Bob. What? What'd you say? Huh? You watch YouTube? Yeah? Okay, you trying to get some food? Ooh, I'm get my gun. Ooh, don't spray me. Like hyena butter. They'll turn around and spray you. Ask my mom. Yeah, the, the male, the tom cats, or the bob cats, watch their back. Watch their backside, because they will spray. Okay. Let me get set up. I got my junk here on the table. Put my car out there so I can have advertising on the, on the road sign. Um, I'm going to go check out the uh, facilities here shortly in about two minutes or less and then get situated here. I think I'm going to make a shower over here and putting the tarp up over here so nobody can see me and I can get a little shower in because there's water right there and I got electric. So. Got my game plan. Hey everyone, welcome to the campsite. Um, I just got here maybe three hours ago. I got everything out the car. Um, I didn't set everything up yet, but that contraption over there is going to be my shower. Um, there's a there's a crapper right there, but I believe no showers in there, so I made my own. Um, I'll show you real quick how I set it up. I used the tarp. Um, I got one of these tarps. It's supposed to go under a uh, tent so it doesn't poke a hole in the tent. Um, I should have uh, did a quick disconnect so when I, after I used it, I could have put it under the tent, but I got something else for that uh, for today. Um, right now, um, this one here, well, one of these, they're, they're both the same, but one of them um, I had got from the wish list. Uh, Jeff Swartz had got me one, and Scott Letterman had got me the other. So these are two, I think, 10 by 10 tarps. Um, I got my own cordage that I had put up here. Uh, here is the contraption here. Um, I got a bottle hanging from the neck of that bottle. Uh, I pour the water in there. I leave that off. I pour the water in there. I got holes down here, as you see, a little drip right there. But I got holes down there. Um, I had to space this out because I'm a little, with all with all this muscle, I need a little bit more room. I don't want it touching me. You know, it feels kind of weird when you're taking a shower and something's touching you. That's what she said. But uh, I got the trekking pole. I got from Nate Kitchen and Krista Johnson. That's one of them. I got the other one in the car. But I got that one side to side. I got the I got it attached to this line and I got it attached to this line, so it stays right there. So I just pour water. I got water already all the way down there because there's there's a water uh, spigot over there, um, right there. They can't see through there much. It's barely. I mean, they can barely see through there. If you, I went on the other side, and uh, and saw that that nobody could see but this way either the deer maybe can see me but the only person that's over here is all the way over there so if they're over there then they get a they can get a free show but uh if i catch them i'm charging 
Um, I got my towel right here. That's the monster towel. I think it's $14.99, but it's uh, very absorbent and very lightweight. Um, I got my, it's supposed to be for a car, but I got that towel there for me for wash washing up. I got my soap hanging here. And from this side, if you're looking from where the bathroom is, yeah, you can't see, can't see much. And from that distance, if you can see me like that, I need, I need to be on different kind of videos. But I got a canvas tarp here. Um, this is for painting, a, a painting tarpoleum. Uh, but I have it all the time in the back of my car, in the back seat. The back seat looks brand new because I always have that on there because I always throw chicken feed and concrete bags and all sorts of stuff in there. So I keep that in there so I don't mess the seats up. So I'm going to use that on the ground after I get all these pine cones off. <clears throat> I want to do a slant. Wherever the slant is, I don't want it flat. Most people want it flat. I want a slant so I can use it kind of like a bed so I can have it slanted a little bit. But I'm not putting the tent up until I know where the sun's at about six or seven o'clock. It's going to be down anyway, but um, I don't want to put it right directly in the sunlight all the time. Um, a, a good spot right now I see is right over here, but I want to see in the evening time where the sun's at. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of going to wait on that. I have this radio from a sham rocking it uh, on this tree limb. Uh, it actually gets really good reception up there. And the other night when I had uh, had it up, I had it on tree limb as well. So um, I do like to be out here and not talk to myself all the time. And that does have a, a nice little, you know, you're not alone type feel sometimes when it gets too quiet. But I'm going to sit here and tell you what I'm going to do. I'm about to eat, okay? About to eat in a little bit. Um, Whoops, I'll tell you what that is too. That is a fan. And yes, it's a Survivor Series, but they're all different Survivor Series. This is not um, a let's burn up Survivor Series, unless I'm hiking. Because it said I'm hiking in 95 to 100 degree weather. I'm not sitting looking stupid in 100 degree weather, okay? That, it's not that kind of series. So I, got, I went to Walmart. Uh, because I had to drive 14 miles into town to uh, go live for Facebook subscribers. So that's how much I'm dedicated uh, for people that actually pay extra money to subscribe on Facebook. I drove 14 miles just to get 4G signal. I was waiting. I kept driving until I saw 4G signal. I know where it's at. So tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. I'll be at that spot I'm going live. Um, and then tonight and tomorrow night i'll be there at like 7 p.m or 8 p.m at that spot going live so uh i do go live and i'm on these survivor series any way possible if i'm like stranded in the middle of nowhere i don't get a signal then i will definitely uh let them uh get to watch these survivor series a week earlier than everybody else on youtube uh that's just one of the perks and they hear they get to hear me curse okay uh you get to hear me curse on the bloopers um I'm not sure if there's a lot of bloopers on this video. Uh, I was going to make a whole blooper video at the end, but not many bloopers. Uh, uh, so, well, I got the fan. I bought an extension cord. So I got that for this fan for because I'm not going to be in a tent uh, out here because there's too much coverage where there's not a lot of wind. Uh, there is a freaking horse fly biting the back of my... Oh. Man, Mississippi has some freaking horse flies. Um, I got the hammock over there on that tree. It's in between that tree and that tree. I'm not sure if you see it, but there's a hammock there. I parked the car there away from the fire because the fire is over there where I'm going to have the smoke tonight uh, to get the insects off because I might uh, take a little nap in a hammock or something if I have some smoke going um, this evening so the uh, bugs can get off me. Uh, for lunch, I got creamy four cheese. That's Ben's uh, 90 second rice. The first night you saw me, I put uh, water, a lot of water in there. Um, I think you're just supposed to heat this up in the microwave 90 seconds. So I'm just going to put a little bit of water in here to heat it up. That's all. And then I have some roasted chicken 90 seconds. Great value. So I'll kind of do a, a review slash 
survived. You know, I got to keep my girlless figure. Um, and with the roasted chicken, I think I'm going to put the white chicken in there. I messed up with the fried rice the first night. I should have put the teriyaki chicken. I got teriyaki chicken. I should have put in there and I didn't. So um, I'm going to cook that for you guys in a bit. Um, there's a lake here that I'm going to go around. I know you saw earlier when I was coming in here. There's a lake that I'm not sure how how far it is around it, but whatever that distance is, is, is I'm walking it tomorrow, okay? Uh, I'll have the fishing pole. I might do catch and release because there's going to be too much fish I catch, and I'm not going to carry all that weight all the way around, okay? Uh, if I get toward the end, I catch one or two fish at the end here, then I will go ahead and keep them. I'll probably do more fishing toward the end than all the way around, but I'll, I'll walk. I'll stop, throw the fishing pole in, and go around and um, make it kind of easier hike at the end since my feet are freaking killing me still. Um, but but if that's one, one and a half miles around, I'll still have to get the backpack and go a little bit more with the backpack because I want to at least do 1.85, bare minimum 1.85 to get my 30 miles. Um, because of a challenge, if I don't, if I said 30 to 32 miles and I didn't get the 30 or 32, uh, then I'll have to do the challenge again. Um, but this is a survivor challenge and I'm, I'm not going to do, I'm not going to do this anytime soon again. So, uh, if it's three, four miles around there, if it's five miles, I'm doing five miles, but I think it's not five miles. Hopefully it's not five miles, but if it is, that's what it is. I'll just go pretty slow. Uh, but when I get back from that, um, I'll be, uh, be probably tired and, um, that's tomorrow. So we'll get into that. Um, later on, um, I'll be cooking a steak because the ice in the, in the chest, I told you yesterday, that's depending on if I was going to fish today and catch fish to eat or just cook what I got and then cook the steak tomorrow for the last day or cook the steak today because the ice is about melted in that cooler. So I'm going to cook the steak tonight. Okay. So I'm cooking the steak tonight. I have some green beans that we picked from the garden from last year and, uh, uh, vacuum sealed and froze so uh that's be tonight but let me get the uh stuff ready and uh i will cook for you here in a second i really wish i would have kept i would have put that in the car i didn't think about just going around the lake here um and not carrying my whole backpack but i should have brought that camel water backpack deal that uh that i got um i don't know um I told uh, Nicole Burke and Miss D that got me that. I told them I would uh, go bike riding and shout them out on that. And I will actually use it in another Survivor Series or like a, just a day hike thing. And I'll have it because I'll definitely use it. Um, it wasn't on my wish list. Um, so uh, it was something that wasn't on my wish list because I couldn't carry that and my big backpack. So uh, if I thought about it, though, if I saw this, I would have carried it on my backpack, on my back doing just this around this lake. But... Um, I will definitely use that. Um, what else? I don't know. I'm hungry. So let me get this set up and um, I'll be back with you. Talk to you about, with this food in my face, in your face. Go post stop recording.
Okay, I'm going to um, keep this fan off for right now, but when I eat, I keep the fan on because the bugs don't like the um, force of the wind against them flying. That's my um, scientific view on that. But if, you have, if you're picnicking or anything, put a fan up to blow on the food. It's going to cool the food off a little bit quicker, but if you're not a fan of bug juice, um, slobbering on your food um, it doesn't bother me a bit really but if you are then uh, if you think of it like that then you need a fan but I have the creamy four cheese roasted chicken and the roasted chicken um, granted the way I did it is not the way you're supposed to do it but if you're camping it's hot outside anyway it's kind of warm if you leave it out in the sun um, you can do that probably leave it out in the sun for probably more than 90 seconds maybe a half an hour and it'll get pretty hot or wrap it in aluminum foil, put on your dash like we used to do at lunch hour and, um, in the construction, put the food in, on the aluminum foil on the dash. Yes, your, your car's gonna be smelling good for a while. Um, but I put a little bit of hot water in there. It didn't take much to heat up a little bit of water and I have some white chicken. The white chicken, I'm just gonna put it in the roasted chicken. So I'm have roasted white chicken. But I've never had these these kinds before. I had the first time I had the bands was uh, the first night camping. I had that I had that for dinner. They was okay. They was okay for that price, and um, you don't have to really do nothing to it. Yeah, I'm keeping my chicken. But they are. Um, it's it's pretty firm, so you might want to. Um, do them in the microwave and see how they are. They might be a little more, a little less firm if you heat it up in the microwave for a while. But the texture's okay. I like my stuff a little more firm anyway, like my broccoli and cabbage and stuff like that. Tasha doesn't. She likes some more on the not firm side. But, but I like how Tasha is about stuff. Just because she likes it a certain way doesn't mean she will cook the whole meal a certain way. She'll take my food off first and then cook hers a little longer. Just like the, the meat, uh, the steaks, she would take mine off first, cooks her a little longer. Uh, the rice, um, she would cook hers, hers a little longer. Sometimes she cooks two different pots. Um, and a big thing about people that don't eat pork, some people are like anti anti-pork they won't cook it or anything but tasha will buy pork steaks for me she knows i like pork steaks better than steaks they're a lot cheaper and i just like them um the barbecue pork steaks are my favorite but uh like bacon when we went camping she brought plenty of pork bacon so um i'm really glad that she's the way she is and and i um, glad that glad she could be with me but uh speaking of that i do don't tell her, but I did take one of her solar power chargers. Uh, I kind of overpack just a little bit. I got three of them here. I only need one. One solar power charger. Um, with it being in the shade, it's still kind of light outside. Don't put this in direct sunlight to charge it up. Put it kind of in the shade it's still going to charge up long as there's a little light outside it charges up it lets you know when it's charging up i'm not sure if you see this there's a green light there's a green light on it. it's blinking i think because it's led so it looks like it's blinking on the screen but they're pretty they're solid um they only blink when they're charging up they'll blink slow going this way but green means it's it's charging and on these I'm not selling these guys. If you want to check them out on my Amazon recommendations and www.duggarbagedisposalstore.com, click on Amazon recommendation. I think it's under tools or under electronics or equipment, but you can charge this up with the old charger and the C charger. There's two different kinds of chargers you can charge the same thing up with. Um, and then you have three, three USBs right there that you can, um, you can um, charge stuff up with. But I don't need one of these, and I don't know why I always bring 
bring all three but now when i when i do hiking i know to pack lighter like this is my my survival series of hiking but when i go hiking again i know exactly what i need and what i don't need i don't need three solar chargers i need one so but when i go camping i mean when i go hiking like when i go hiking this time i only brought this one and one of these these ain't solar powered these are the ones i had before i have two of these uh they're called rave power but uh i don't even need these anymore i just need one of these don't need two so that cuts the weight almost by half because these are a little heavier but cuts almost by half so that helps out i'll put gatorade in my water because i still if you don't know when you use the restroom like when you wake up and your pee looks like tea if it looks like tea you really need to drink a lot of water. If it's like, like Crown Royal, yeah, you need to drink a lot of water. And less Crown, <laughs> Crown Royal. But uh, when your pee is clear, that means you're hydrated. I'm, I know I'm, it's, it's not a pee talk, really. It's a nutrition talk, like a hydration talk. Um, you want to drink plenty of fluids. You know you're hydrated when your pee is pretty clear. Okay? That's what I'm saying. Okay, enough of the pee. I'm going to eat, sit in a hammock, and uh, we'll lay in a hammock. And I got it perfectly this time. So I've never did that hammock like this where it's perfect, where my, my back isn't kind of squinched up a little bit. So I'm going to relax a little bit today, guys, and kick my feet up and try to uh, wait for this steak for later on. I'm not really that hungry right now. Um, I wasn't hungry last night at all. Like I forced myself to eat people, but I knew when I was cramping up, I knew I needed to drink water, drink electrolytes, uh, uh, the Gatorade, sugars, uh, protein bars, um, I, I, carbs. I, I tried to eat a little bit of everything because I was cramping up and um, body was just locking up. So uh, I forced myself to eat a lot of different stuff just and through the night I actually I felt better through the night last night than I did the first night probably because I ate all them different foods and got more vitamins and stuff in my body but right here the shoulders never burnt like that before and it hurt like that for a while until I went to sleep for a couple hours and kind of died down because I took a couple couple extra strength Tylenols or aspirin or something I don't know what it was but it helped so. okay don't know what to say right now, guys. My food's getting cold. Sorry to be rude, but I'm going to catch you in a bit. Go post stop recording. Hey, update. This um, great value, the way I cooked it, it was, it was still pretty... Not tough. What's the word I'm trying to use? Al dente, like really al dente. This uh, Ben's creamy cheese is not at all. It's. Uh, let me taste one more time. Barely al dente. It's barely like it has a little bit of texture to it, but it's not like mashed potatoes. Good. I would rather have the um, Ben's. He's not my uncle, but I think that's Uncle Ben. So, great value. Walmart. So far, no. So no. Have a rice aroni for later. Rice aroni and a Ben's of the same kind of thing. Garlic, olive garlic, something. But I have uh, rice aroni and a Ben's. So let's see who wins out of that and see what my top pick is. Um, I'm gonna take a shower. You can't you can't see that. No. That's not even a subscriber thing. Not even a paid subscriber Facebook. You can't see the shower thing. But I'm gonna take a shower and then I'm gonna lay in a hammock. Go post stop recording. Do 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 do
Guys, I feel like a freaking new man. That works great. Very great. This sham towel, the sham towel deal. Oh man, it is a. Uh... <laughs> no, this is in the Chippendales. But uh, this lightweight, it, it dries out really quick. If you're in a hurry, you can just do this, like a rodeo, and dry it out really quick, and then fold it back up, and it's already almost dry. So do that for another 30 seconds or so. Good to go. Um, it's like a big car chamois. So uh, you might can just buy a car chamois for right the same price and do that. Can't find this, but this is called Four Monster. Not getting um, any kickbacks from it, but when I get home, and I'll tell you what I like about the camping and hiking trip, I'm going to put it all on my, um, my camping, fishing, hiking on that Amazon recommended uh, list. So whatever's on there that I've used from here, I'm putting on there that I like. Stuff that I don't like, I'm going to let you know about, and I'm not going to put it on there. Okay, hammer time. Guys, I was over there putting my socks on, and I noticed I had a couple blisters on my toes. Um, yeah, I um, I'm not sure if I should pop them and then put some kind of bandage thing over it, or leave them with the water in it. So it doesn't rub. I can't can't find out till I get signal. So when I go tonight to go live for the Facebook subscribers, the garbage gang, when I go 14 miles into town and there's a Walmart there, I'm gonna go ahead and Google that and go to Walmart and get what I need. I do have some corn. I do have some kind of stuff in my first aid kit, but I'll see what they got at Walmart and uh, maybe they have some other stuff. I was gonna buy some um, some different pads for my ankles and stuff, but I, I didn't uh, get around to doing that. I forgot to get the different pads that, that I was watching. Um, who was I watching? Oh, Paleo Hiker MD. He said something about some, um, uh, I, I can't even think of the name of it right now, but I got it wrote down. But yeah, I got a couple blisters on my toe. I didn't even know I had them, but uh, I felt them. So that's what that is. So she said, okay, I want to relax guys. And um, then I will talk to you probably later on, um, probably midday. And then um, when I do the steak, so at least a few more times before the day's over. But as I said, today is a relaxing day with a nice breeze uh this tree this tree right here has a nice shade to it um i would put the tarp up that scott letterman had got me the hammock tarp but that that's for um if it rains because if, if if you know trees have shade already so you don't need the tarp for shade because trees trees have limbs but uh the that's for if it rains. So if rain was in in the forecast and this is all I, I took hiking and, and didn't take a tent, if I just took this, I would string that up and that would be um, the tarp for it. But wind's kicking up. I don't know if you can hear it in this microphone, but I'll talk to you guys in a bit. I'm just headed to town and I thought about it this campsite is number 21 and where I was the last two nights was primitive camping 21 what a quinky dink this is a fun fact didn't mean nothing really just thought it was something something awkward go post stop recording what has happened to everybody um I just got back from Walmart and I was about to set up this tent when I met what's your name Janelle, baby. 
Janalvin, and you live around here? Yeah, I'm from Ackerman, Mississippi. Ackerman, so that's like only a couple of miles from here, right? Right. Okay, because I went to Starkville the other way for Walmart. Yeah. I think I went to, uh, you know what? I was there this morning to get some um, biscuits and gravy from that one gas station. Uh, That's probably what, a four-way stop? I think so. It was, you should it was pretty good. Weavers. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I, I did that earlier this morning. Yeah. But uh, what do you um what are you guys doing out here? Uh, I just told my guy, you know, you wanna go out to the lake? Let's go. He ain't never been out here. Okay. So you know, we just came, and just relaxed, peace of mind, and bumped into you. Yeah, he asked yeah, for. He it. know who you were. His guy asked for a lighter over here. So I had one from our <laughs> butane tank. So uh, so he saw he saw, saw the magnets on the car. That's why I always have the magnets on the car and have cars that I, I, usually if you go, if you go to Walmart in town today, you might see my cars laying around because I, I throw them around everywhere. Yeah. But I try to advertise where I can. But what you guys doing out here today? You fishing or you just coming out here no, to chill? I just come to relax a minute. Just okay. talk, have okay. a couple, and head back out. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, pe hot. it's peaceful out here. It's hot, but yeah. it's peaceful, but still hot. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be like 100, about 100 a day. I wish I'd go dive in the lake, but I yeah. can't. You see that thing right there? That's my shower. I made a shower thing out oh, of it. Yeah. I put a, a I put one of those bottles like that in there with a hole in the bottom. I pour water in it, just take a shower under there. Yeah. Yep. That's gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. <laughs> so I yeah. thought maybe you'd go is it one in there? No, I went in there. It's just a bathroom. It's just a, uh you probably could take a whole bath though, like uh, you know, yeah. in the sink or something. But uh that that's really nice. I'll just put that in there and if I still have some ice left I can pour water in there, have a cold, cold shower. Okay, I see you the garbage disposal. Like, what is the the favorite one thing that you like to eat? Man, that you um, eat a lot of. I'm gonna say it away. I'm gonna say all around. I would like pizza because you can bear. You can almost never mess up a pizza. I have bad yeah. some bad pizzas, but pizza's probably all around. But I like variety, like a buffet type thing. Yeah, I like a little bit of it. What do you like to eat? Pizza. Pizza. Um, I don't do hot dog. I like chicken, fish, steaks. You know, a lot of Mexican food. Okay. Italian. You know. Yeah, I like some pastas too. My girlfriend yeah. likes Mexican. The um, is there any challenges around here? Like food, like big food challenges? Have you heard of? No. No. Because yeah, I, I would be to back Stars to do some if I came back. Me, I think it's in Starsville. Yeah. I think they got a hamburger up there. It's called yeah. Sto Stornville? Starksville. Starksville. You know what? It's a hamburger. That sounds familiar, there. that town, Starksville. Yeah, it's where Mississippi State Camp is at. Okay. Yeah. I so. have to Google it. I bet you they do have some I challenge around that, they, that campus. I think it's a hamburger that they have. Okay. As long as it ain't too big, man, because I'm trying to get out of that, you know. <laughs> I used to do, like I said, the 12-pound pizzas. I probably could do a 9-pound pizza now. Ooh. Now, it's still a lot, but... Dropping three pounds from I used to, you know, I'm I'm going downhill on that. I'm I'm, I'm really. I can imagine. It's a lot of food. Pound pieces. You go to buffets? Like. Is there a good buffet around here? Uh, I haven't been to one in a while. No. But they used to have. I think McAllister's. I think there's one. I don't know if they have a Cracker Barrel here. Pound pieces. Or. Uh, <laughs> There's a few of them up there. I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing at yeah. him. He's looking at my, my video, 50-pound pizza. That was four people, though. Yeah. 50-pound pizza. That was a... You the man. Yep. He used to eat a 112-pound hamburger, yeah. Yeah. There's a 112-pound hamburger on there. I a hamburger. <laughs> it was 10 How big is that like that? No, it was that big. It was, it was, yeah, it was about that big. I ain't lying. And y'all put it away. Yeah. We had an hour to do it, so we kind of talked on, on this end. We talked a little bit, but we got it done. How many people? Ten. Ten of us did it. About like 12 pounds a piece. I probably did about, I would say, nine or ten of it. Who There's fried some, the patty? I don't know, but they didn't do a good job. They did. It was purple. It wasn't even pink. It was purple in the middle. <laughs> yeah, the first thing I thought was, hey, uh, my, my brain, you know, when we eat, like, when I eat a steak, I like it medium, but for a challenge, I like medium rare, right. so you don't have to chew as much. Right. So the first thought I, I thought when I saw that pink, that purple, I was like, oh, I don't have to chew. Right. And then the second bite, it's like, man, this is nasty. <laughs> that was bad. It's going to be raw. Yeah, it was like raw, raw. Ooh. Something like that, you know, you got to cook on the outside real quick, sear it, and then put it in the oven for probably a half a day. Yeah. You know, low, slow and low, but yeah. they didn't do it. Well, we out here at Choctaw County okay. Lake, and how far you done explored out here? 
Oh, I've been, uh, the first day was 12.55 miles. The second was 18 point. No, I'm lying, I'm lying, I'm lying. It was 15 point something, 15.6. Miles. I did 28.15 in two days. Man, I've been living here all my life, and I've never, I've just been, the area where they swim and fish at, yeah. and right here, and over there. Yeah. Cause we used to have fishing, they have fishing derbies out here. Also. I heard, somebody said it's fished out now, though. When yeah. I was talking to somebody, they said it was fished out. Yeah. So what are they fishing for out here? So, like, they'll come stock it up, and they have, like, oh, the derbies okay. and stuff. Probably bass. Yeah. But you Cats. guys call them, uh, what you call, call them here, brim? Brim. Cause I call them bluegill. Brims, yeah. I call them, in Cokie, I bet you in Cokie they call yeah. them. Actually, he knows some of uh, my family members in Cahokia. And actually, when I, when I tell people where I used to live, I say St. Louis or East St. Louis because everybody knows yeah. where it's at. But as soon as you say Cahokia, I was like, yeah. nobody really knows where it's at. And if you live in Cahokia, and I worked at the Valvoline there for assistant manager, and there's so many people that come to Cahokia to see where the Cokia mounds are. The Cokia Mounds are in Collinsville. It's an even. It, it's just the name of the Indians. Yeah. And it's in another town. Yeah. But Yeah. But I've been Cokia 35 years. If you ever ask somebody, usually you say white boy Brandon. That's what they call me. Yeah. But um, I, I used to run the streets there a lot, and I can't talk about much of it on here. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I used yeah, to sell been there green once. tomatoes. I used to sell green Maybe tomatoes twice, on the side of the road. Two times. Oh, I've been up there. Okay. My father was staying up there, and. I got some cousins there now. Okay. They come that they'll probably be here in a couple of weeks. Well, I'm 46, so if they're around my age, they yeah. Uh, yeah. I know my cousin Lonnie D. He's up there. And, Lonnie D. Is he uh, a DJ? No, no, he's he's an older guy. He's probably in his 60s, maybe early okay. 60, 63 or something. I know a DJ. I know there. Lonnie DJ. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, man. Well, it was good meeting you guys. Yeah, man, we just out here. Yeah, I was like other people on my video. I know they get tired of seeing me all the time. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't mind, you know. Uh, for real, for real. Got this old leg here. I hate to come uh, and scratch it out, exercise it, you uh, know. Well, hopefully you got. need to do something, you know. Yeah, to, you got to get some muscle in there. Yeah, and you already got tan I on almost it. lost this one too, and they did some work on it here yeah. and there, and they just went off in my knee, and I got to ride. They saved, but, saved you know, this one. Yeah, they saved, but I have a lot of problems out of it, but oh, that's good. why I told them I'm to go out here and just walk around a little bit, just to get some exercise. When the weather changes, you get the, like, Man. it hurts when Oof. it gets cold? Man, even when it get ready to storm or yeah. something, oh. I know when it's been the rain. I know somebody had arthritis that does the same yeah, as arthritis. Uh, okay. I got it. Uh, in my toe also okay. develop in there because I can't move because I got nerve damage. My stepdad had the metal plates of his back and his uh, like arms. Like we can tell a couple yeah. of days before that rain come in. Yeah, he could too. Get the ache and hey, it's been raining in a couple of days. I guess that metal contracts and um, it's weird, expands you know. and stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. I didn't believe in when people you say that. But now by me going through and experiencing that, yeah, I see what they were talking about. Yeah, I was telling I was, I was telling him earlier too. Some people just give up, you know, and they uh, think life's over and stuff. But you know, he uh, he's wanting to prove it, and he he might start a YouTube. So if you do, let me know. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you, you can motivate a lot of people. I motivate a lot of you guys. Well, they, I motivate this fat guy right here, yeah. walking eight, 28 miles in two days. You yeah. know, because as soon as I say that to somebody, if I'm talking to you. You guess what their eyes do? They look at my belly. Like yeah. they're calling me a liar. Like I ain't gonna do it. <laughs> like yeah, but I'm I'm I'm, I'm I like to say stubborn. Like I'm 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 stubborn. Yeah. You know, I'm hard headed. So I want to if I say something, I'm gonna do it. I'm yeah. gonna put my or I'm a loser. I just feel so. I just I, I do it. And and there's a lot of people that um, that see on my channel that I don't give up. So it it it, the, it affects a lot of people. I didn't know. Like even when I ate food, I help people that like. Uh, they couldn't eat good, but when they saw me, they got an appetite. And yeah. Some people had cancer; they can eat when they see videos. So I, I help people out in more ways than I even even knew. You know, so you never know if you yeah, start it. And I think because I see a lot of people, they just get to smile, and when they see me, they like, man, you didn't give up. Oh, like, you can. Rather, you get have more subscribers than me. I might have to email I, you to right, help I me out to, with my subscribers. I'd rather lost this than to lose my life. Oh. You know, it was bad. So it's been tough, but. I'm not gonna give up. Got well, I wouldn't have met you if you gave up. Right. Oh. Never know what life might bring you, but you just gotta keep keep going. It's just a test. All right. Well, this battery's about to give up. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> so we're gonna we'll get out here you guys i appreciate it man yeah. thank you very much nice and uh we'll probably talk a little bit more but um i gotta shut this camera off and once we get back i'll get back to um putting that tin up over there i'm um i'm getting the gumballs and the pine there's gumballs over there too so i'm getting those up and pine pine cones the gang will feel good to sleep on so i'll, I'll see you guys later and thanks again there you go <laughs> gopro stop recording i'm not sure how big this tin in guys but uh i'll uh unfold this in a minute this tarpoleum should be pretty much bigger than that the the footing of that tent um i like it like that so it's like a doormat too so you can wipe your feet off before you come in the tent so you don't get too dirty but you don't want to dirty the bottom of the tent up and then the the moisture from the ground even though it's it's really hot outside so i'm pretty sure there's not much moisture in the ground um, but that barrier on the ground will get the condensation on the bottom and can cause mold and stuff so you want to try to put something on the bottom uh layer um to to buff uh, to buff that um i picked up the the gumballs and the pine cones so that's not going to be good to be laying on um, so I'm going to put this out and then first time open this tent I don't know anything anything about this tent so we'll uh, we'll see how easy it is to set up okay Thought the tarpaulin was bigger than that, that's what she said. But uh, it's still going to be a good doormat on the on the front of it. So we'll see. The sun's over there, um, so that's all shade from like 2 p.m. on. So we have to worry about the sun coming in on us. I got a one-person and a two-person tent. Um, I got plenty of donations so i made sure to get all kinds of stuff so when i do go hiking for a two person uh, then i can actually bring that tent instead of this one it's going to be a heavier tent but the other person can carry other stuff like pots and pans and, and stuff to, to combat me uh carrying heavier weight so should try to buffer that now if it's if it's tasha um, i'm probably going to um I'm going to carry most of the weight. Well, not most of the weight, but I'll carry a bigger percentage of the weight because I have to live with her. These look like these are the tent poles. I think this should be two. Yeah, two. See how easy this is to put together. And we can test this out for Amazon because I want to test it out as soon as possible to make sure that it's a good tent because the other tent is the same, I think the same name as this tent, uh, Lost Nature. So if this is bad, the other one's gonna be bad because the other one's just like this, but it's a two person, it's just a little bit bigger. She didn't say that. Oh, look at this. They got some kind of picture here. I don't know why you need that. They call them instructions, I believe. They're showing two people. I don't think you need two people for this. And one of them's a, uh, a fly to go over the top of it. And that's what this is. Uh, so it's not going to rain and I want more airflow in here. So I'm not going to use this. Uh Oh yeah. I felt a freaking still got a couple gumballs under there. The older you get them gumballs are like kryptonite and this is shaped like an oval. I believe Jesus Christ. How many gumballs are under here still? I'll find them. I'll find them on my back.
goes just like like so I believe okay hmm I don't know what this is for Okay, simple as that. And uh, it's like a one person sleeping bag tent. Uh, I'll show you, there you go. And it fits perfectly that direction. So I'll have that side here as the, the doormat. So that, that's perfect with this tarponium. Okay. Well, I'm gonna get the um, other stuff in there. Let me, um, let me get that real quick while I got this camera rolling. I didn't bring the sleeping bag with me because the sleeping bag um, that John Lyons had got, uh, it's gonna be 100 degrees so it is a negative 20 or negative 15 or whatever below zero it's below zero sleeping bag but i did bring the pillow i got here yeah i really, really needed this pillow um judy slash kathy o'neill had uh got me got me that so this is the perfect perfect sleeping um, pillow for me see how thick that is that's all I need. Cause sometimes I just put like a sheet, a sheet kind of folded over twice, like just thin on my arm because the bigger the pillow, my neck gets, gets to hurting bad. So I think this is gonna be perfect. So thank you very much for that, Kathy, slash Judy, slash O'Neill. And John Lyons had got these. These go under a uh, sleeping bag. You have to blow these up. Uh, they got a little button here. Uh, you pull that out to, to let the air out, but then you push it back in like so, and it, uh, it blows up. So if you wanna watch, if you guys wanna be creepy, you can watch me blow it up. Okay, that's all you do. It didn't take long at all. That's what she said. Put that right in there. It's made by the same company as the tent. No, it ain't, I'm lying. It's called Sleep Lingo. And um, he bought two of them. He bought two sleeping bags and two of these uh, sleeping bag cushions. So I brought two sleeping bag cushions. Nine blows, nine blows. There you go. Comes with this uh, phone 
slash tablet slash whatever you want to put in here, like your GUN or something, uh, in a light. Uh, you can sleep and lay up and watch TV or um, whatever, whatever you want to do. It's, that's your business. I want to thank Dog God for uh, getting the tent for me. Um, so appreciate that. Very nice. There you have it. Um, give me about a couple more hours and we'll be cooking steaks. GoPro stop recording. Okay, this is this is uh, almost the last time, okay? I, I keep going back to this tent because I keep thinking of, of, of tips and tricks and different stuff that, that you could do um, or annoyances that you can avoid. Uh, that's west. The sun will set set in the west okay um the sun's coming up in the east so if you have a tent that you want if you only one side has mesh like this or you want the sun not to get in your eyeballs to wake you up early then face it the other way face it west uh that's something a lot of people do not uh, do doesn't matter because i'm probably going to be up at five in the morning before the sun even gets up um so Probably be another one of them alarm, Walmart parking lot alarm birds out here. But just something I thought about. You're welcome. I forgot I had um, green beans as well. Um, I have them vacuum sealed and the steak. So I'm probably not going to do the rice aroni till maybe late, late, late tonight if I get hungry. So I'm. Uh, it's rice aroni. Uh, 90 second dill and the bins um, ranch whatever not ranch <coughs> olive garlic something I don't know but uh, I'm definitely gonna do the steak that Tasha marinated look all that love juice and the green beans and I might put the love juice in the green beans too but probably not I'm just gonna do them in the water um, and boil them over here um, i do have the little grate that judy slash kathy o'neill had got me as well uh, but since we have this here i think i'm gonna use this first and the fire gets down kind of low then i'll use that one and put the coals up under that one um, because this one does go kind of kind of far down that's what she said so i'm gonna do that and i don't know i'm, I'm trying to think it out because this grill has been used and it's kind of black and I don't have anything to clean it. It has a lot of, yeah, I don't have aluminum foil or anything to clean it with, I don't think. So I might use my grate anyway. So I'll get the fire started and then I'll put the grate up there. That's, that'll, that's what's gonna happen. Sorry, I had to talk it out. I had to talk it out. So let me get some sticks. What I can do is start the green beans on top because I can use this can to put on top. So uh, let's get this uh, ready to go. So I have to do both things at the same time. I can go ahead and 
get something going. Now, I'm not putting the top on that. The top has a little piece of plastic on top. So if the fire is going up above it, it won't hurt it like this. But if I put that other top on there, that plastic piece could melt. So get my handy dandy Lonnie knife. Uh, Tasha's not out. You didn't see that. Tasha's not out here, so yes, I can do that. Don't tell her. These are green beans from the garden. From last year's garden. And we uh, vacuum seal them. You're supposed to blanch them and then vacuum seal them if you're, if you're not gonna use them um, in, you know, like a few weeks or so. Put them all in there. All of them's going in the pool. There you go. Even this one. There you go. Okay. I'm gonna let the embers kind of get down and then go ahead and put that grate over that and then throw the steak on there. There we go. I'll have that right there and then I'm throwing the steak on. Guys, that is not burnt. 
that is charred, a.k.a. diet, diet steak, because you burnt the calories off. I'm going to go with charred. Alright, here's the steak, folks. Yes, looks very delicious. See that juice, juice coming out there? Yes, this is a Aldi's organic bag or something. I don't have a plate, so that's the best thing I can do. I can't use my hubcaps because hubcaps change and they have holes in it now. So, um, it doesn't look like this. Hubcaps do not look like this anymore. So, uh, I thought about it. I'm going to go ahead with the rice aroni garlic olive rice. I'm going to go ahead and go with this. So, I have rice, a steak, and then green beans. So, the green bean water is hot. So, I'm going to open this up, pour a little bit of that water in here just to heat this up a little bit. I already tried the Uncle Ben's. So I knew that was creamier, the, a, a, a less al dente. So I'm gonna try the, the rice aroni. I already tried the great value. No go on that. And I got my own special seasonings I put in there, just a bunch of seasoning I picked and threw in here. I don't even know what's all in there. Okay, pour a little bit. It has a strainer on top of here. So I'm gonna strain this out. And I'll put it over here. I don't want the ants to get up here. Okay. Okay. And I'll strain the rest of this out back here. Might as well make it look like a meal here. There you go. Then I'm going to eat this over there by the fan so the bugs don't get to it. These are hard too. Rice aroni is hard. Still says 90 seconds. It's not going to get softened too much in 90 seconds. That's what she said. So Uncle Ben's has it. Between Great Value, Uncle Ben's, and Rice aroni, get the Ben's. I don't think it says Uncle anymore. I'm not sure. I think he got too rich, so he doesn't want to be anybody's relative. So I'm going to put this on the plate. Do a quick video. Oh, yeah, this is freaking... This is chef chef stuff right here, especially this plate. Five star. It's not camping with Tasha, okay? I'll tell you that. I'm not putting any seasoning on the steak. She already, she already seasoned that. Okay, here you go with this camera, and then I'll do it with my phone. Hold on one second. Got to get a video and a picture. Oh, baby. Okay. Well, I'm going to eat and I will talk to you before I end uh, this vlog. Okay, let me eat. Eat before the bugs eat. Okay, I'm about to head to town for one more live for Facebook subscribers, but wanted to show you my little setup. I went ahead and tied the cord to there so it can be lean like that. I probably put a stick or something right there so it don't slide back slide that way. But uh, yes, I think that's going to be really lovely. Then I got my lights. That Scott Letterman had uh, got me, so the light's in there. Uh, and I'm gonna put my phone 
right there in this uh, little pocket so I can watch watch a little uh, I don't know what I'm gonna watch because there's no signal out here I guess I'll go to sleep okay see ya tonight and I'll talk to you one more time about to hit the road throw this stuff away and uh, be back and I'll talk to you it's gonna be dark but hey it's okay yeah I'm not gonna show you my man boobs but yeah my shirt's off it's hot out here it's freaking hot Hey, uh, I went ahead and went live a little earlier for the Facebook subscribers of the Garbage Gang. Um, text Tasha, and she'll see that when she gets up, and I'll, I'll text her in the morning um, before she goes to sleep um, when I go live again for them. But uh, I made it into the tent. Um, I do have one problem, and I, f I know what's the problem now. I can probably go ahead and change it around, which I, I guess I will. But I'm going to let you know now. The, the deal here to hold the phone to watch a movie, this is where my head's at, so I can't, I can't see the movie hardly. So what I'm going to do is turn it around and put it right here, so it's facing here, and then it can, uh, you can see it better. Because I, I have to do this, I can probably see it a little bit, and I can probably rig it up tonight. But knowing me, I'm just going to go ahead and turn this tent around. Because it would be nice if this tent had that on either side. And uh, then you can pick which which side you want it on. But that's the, the major deal. Oh, and I did have movies on here. So when I, I think I was doing airplane flights uh, with Bob to Las Vegas and such, I downloaded like 10 movies that I can watch off uh, off the grid or whatever you want to call it so i had them downloaded so i can watch i can still watch movies so uh with that said guys i'm gonna go ahead and shut this vlog down i want to appreciate you guys for watching this vlog and yes today was a survival series but this was the down day and i'm glad i had a day to uh to relax my ankles still hurt uh, but my feet are feeling a little better i popped that blister and they're feeling a little better now uh, they were burning at first what she said uh, but then um, now they're feeling okay so tomorrow I'm gonna wrap them again and then um, hit the trail so we'll see how far I have to go tomorrow and I will uh, I will talk to you later see lightning bugs this is really um, really nice got a panoramic view here and I'm going to turn the fan on now. I got the light right here, so just in case I need to uh, turn it on at night, I got a light right here. And if I need an SOS, I'm not sure why I need that in here, but I have that. And uh, I'm good to go. So, good night, and I will see you in the morning with some coffee. I was about to curse. With some freaking coffee. Go post that recording. Hey, thanks for watching the video again. If you haven't visit my website yet um, the, the address is www.doggarbagedisposalstore.com you can navigate through the top all these links right here um, there is actually a question and comment form if you have any questions or comments uh, fill that out and it'll go straight to my email at the very bottom there is a free newsletter just sign up for right here um, and you'll get a weekly newsletter so uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel what are you waiting on hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell hit see all so you get all the notifications and don't miss the videos please comment i like to um, listen to your comments uh, and respond to you so I do like to interact with you guys uh, please share the video with your friends family even your boss and have a great day unless you meet other plans <laughs>